Remember your president's been talking about that? We had this terrible oil spill uh, for a long time. Yeah. Right. Nothing really is being done as far as we know, except they hope to be able to stop it. Uh, I don't think they're going to stop anything until they get carbon taxes, which our president has been playing up while all this is going on, and cap and trade. These are the two main things, the goals for that false flag event, and that's exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the the, um, uh, the advocacy group out there is citing the United States and Canada in this global tax, and the, the European Union is also in sync with such proposals for a global tax. And it's, it's basically uh, with the labor union speaker, Nancy Pelosi, uh, and a, a, a number of other liberals and left-wing economies also are pushing for our global financial tax. Uh, Mr. Chapman, history tells us, right here in the United States, for instance, just a short 230 years ago, we fought a, we fought a war because of a 3% tax on tea. What what kind of a, a – if this global tax is put forth, it's uh, – the only people that are benefiting are the, the super poor people in the world who are basically led by tyrants, uh, socialists, fascists uh, that are uh, short of being uh, little Hitlers and little Mussolinis and little Stalinists. Uh, do you think that the, Amer- the American people, the Canadians, the Australians – the the, Euro, the uh, United Kingdom uh, are going to be fed up with having to foot the bill for all these blunderous company countries around the world who are uh, fast uh, uh, demanding that we pay for their mistakes. Well, it's a good question, and uh, we never know what people are going to do. But we do know that these radio programs that I'm on are reaching people worldwide, and particularly this one. And the people are finding out how they're getting screwed. And uh, I don't think they like it very well. And um, such attacks may push the people of the world over the edge. And you may have revolution in half the countries in the world, including the United States. And don't forget, unemployment is uh, 22 and 3 eighths percent. Uh, It's going to go higher soon, within the next six months, probably to 25 percent, maybe even higher, but we'll say 25 and uh, unemployment's been cut off for 2 million people as of next week. And uh, so I don't, I, I think the, the nation is ripe, ripe for demonstrations and uh, protests against taxes. The president says he's going to not continue the tax cuts that were instituted by the previous administration. If he does, do that, then your taxes are going to go up 15% next year. Now you have rising taxes, falling revenues, and at the same time, record deficits, like $1.6 to $1.8 trillion for the year. Two wars that have already cost over a trillion dollars. I mean, do we really want to pay for all that? I don't think so. Mm. No, I don't. I, I guarantee you I don't. I, I barely make it uh, from month to month. And uh, there's a few people out there that just made some donations to me to keep uh, to keep the phone bills paid so we can do this show. And I need to thank a few of them out there personally, uh, and I'll get to that in the next hour, guys. But uh, I got a question here, in, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm, uh, you have to forgive me, Mr. Chapman. I, it's hard for me to ascertain what the question really is because I think there's some spelling errors here. But uh, uh, the leader of the UN announced that the Fed is getting ready to pump about two thousand billion into the market. Uh, the, well, that two thousand billion is actually two trillion dollars. And for those who read the international forecast that we have projected. In the next two and a half years, because Congress doesn't want to legislate stimulus programs, at least not now anyway, that, that figure will be five trillion for two and a half years. But the figure given out by the UN of 
two billion is probably close for the for the we'll say the next nine to twelve months. Go ahead. Well, he he goes on and asks, uh, is the Dow going to go over ten thousand? Uh, when I hear uh, and I personally am hearing reports and reading reports that uh, the Dow is uh, head uh, head strong going to go down anywhere from two to four thousand points within the next two to three months. Uh, is, that goes hand in glove with your prediction. So, uh, you know, what's the what's the real bottom line here for the next couple of three months? Well, that kind of money would tend to buoy the market, but over the next six months, uh, the economy is not going to do well. And uh, even if the money is pumped in, like right now, uh, it, it it's it's not going to do a lot of good for the economy quickly. Uh, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department, the New York Fed, the SEC and the CFTC are part of the President's Working Group in Financial Markets, which rig markets worldwide every day, 24 hours a day. So they're already doing that. Now, I think the market's going down over the next six months. It could down at 8,500, 88,000 on the Dow. It's around 10,1 right now. And uh, what we're getting in here, incidentally, for those of you who don't understand the market, uh, and any of you who have ever kicked a dead cat, uh, this is a dead cat bounce. And as you know, you can't kick a dead cat very far. Uh, it's one of those uh, euphemistic sayings in the stock market. But anyway, it's uh, the rally should be over. Uh, today should have been the last day, and it's going to head back down again. And... Um, over time, it's going to go considerably lower. But if they're going to spend that kind of money in the economy, then some of it is going to get into financial instruments. And so that would tend to keep the market from going back to 65.50 on the Dow where it went a year ago this past March. And so it, it's hard to put figures out here, but... The economy doesn't look good. Uh, this quarter, GDP, accepting government figures, which are bogus, but we'll accept them anyway. We're looking at growth of maybe 1.5%. Uh, in the third quarter, I think we'll be even, no growth, no loss. And in the fourth quarter, I think what we're looking at is a loss of up to 2%. So... The Fed has to offset that by pouring money in. And in doing so, they're going to create inflation, which is going to make gold and silver go higher. And it won't last for very long, probably a two-year period. And then the whole yeah. thing should come unglued and go into deflation. But to answer your question, that's where this is all headed. Mr. Chapman, the United States Treasury market is a very important market for China. For the last fortnight here in New Zealand, we've been told that China has held uh, as much as or as little uh, as $900 billion in U.S. Treasuries uh, at the end of April. Uh, at the present time, uh, China is telling us that they won't use the reserves as a nuclear weapon, weapon uh, or dump the U.S. bond. To me, here in New Zealand, this is like throwing up the throwing up the shears and saying the sheep are going to shear themselves. Uh, and uh, what what do you feel is the truth behind this story? Uh, is China you just uh, throwing out the, uh, the the wool, or are they uh, uh, posturing themselves to make themselves uh, more money in uh, in the loan or purchase of uh, U.S. Treasuries? Well, first of all, uh, they only buy when they have to. Uh, when there's a lot of heat from the U.S. government, come on, get in the market and do some buying. Uh, otherwise, they're sellers. And they've been buying gold and natural resources of all kinds, uh, foodstuffs. And they've been investing in projects uh, in Africa and South America and so on and so forth. So China is getting rid of dollars. Not in a big way, 
because if they get rid of them in the big way, they'll drive the price of the dollar down, and they really don't want to do that. It's not in their best interest. So I expect that China will continue to play the game that it's playing. I do not expect them to increase the value of their currency, the yuan, which is the external currency. The internal currency is the renminbi. And so the status quo will remain about the same in China as far as the dollar is concerned, although they could be bigger sellers of dollars, but not precipitously so. Uh, the stock market is down uh, some 23 or 4% since last October. Uh, next year it should get down to a total from the top of about 60%. That's not very good. 